Murals, my friends. My name is Enkudo, and we're still playing Kokoro no Doki Doki Senpai. Because this game is, for some reason, super interesting to play. Like, every time I look at myself play this, I just feel like I can't stop. So I won't stop. So last time we left off, we was going to our dorms where we find something crazy. So now it's time to see what it is. Oh, it's Emokun. What are you doing here, dweeb? Is that a panty and stocking poster you have on your wall? Emokun, you watch panty and stocking? Cool. Stay away from stocking, okay? She's mine. That Emokun really stings me up. Grr! This is my dorm too, butt face. Yeah, I like that it's all. You're a butt face. You have a butt for a face. Impossible. This is my dorm room. Why am I not fucking surprised? It seems like we are roommates then. Yeah, looks like it. In that case, let me lay down some ground rules. Don't ever look into my secret box. It has some personal items in there that are meant to be secret because dorks like you can't appreciate true art. Well, fine. It's not like I want to look in your secret box anyway. I'm already lost. Don't get crumbs on my bed. Don't ever wear any of my clothes or use my makeup. I wouldn't. By the way, I really hope you like my amazing band, Tears of Unenthusiasm, because we're gonna practice in here. You know, dude, that name is really, really gay sounding. What? I said, you know, dude, that name is really great sounding. I would like to rub my flaccid penis on the face of an anthropomorphized incarnation of your band. Yo, nice. No, actually, ew. Why would I rub my penis? Okay. <laughs> okay. It was then that Imoku smirked at me for about half a second. But he did it nonetheless. Yay, I got Imoku to smile! Next, I'll give him to look at me for more than 10 seconds. You know, maybe you were a cool guy. I can't really tell yet. Okay. I don't think I want you to do that. Same with you, man. I'm just hoping you're not like anal about stuff or anything. Oh no, I do like anal. What? My sentiments exactly. What? I said, would you be interested in eating a bowl of Captain Crunch? It's nature's superfood. Well... Okay, um, I would like some Captain Crunch. You know, there's a rumor that it cuts the roof of your mouth, but I don't think that's true. Yeah, it's a really fun cereal to eat. What is natural about Captain Crunch? Do they even sell that in this country? They don't? You don't question the captain. He'll fuck you up. Okay then. Everybody? Everybody, listen to Emokun. You do not question Captain Crunch because Captain Crunch will fuck you up. Just shut up and eat it. You'll thank me later. One transition later, I wake up the next morning and I have a funny feeling in my pants. Well, when you wake up in the morning, what's the first thing that you see? It's your morning wood. Morning wood. There is a sight, there is a giant circle of piss that apparently pre-made in my pants and wanted to fetch it. 
Did you just want the bed? Did... Again, why am I surprised anymore? I just accept everything that comes by. I am freaking out. I'd love to see if Emoku is watching. This would be so embarrassing if he was. I kind of have a feeling that he may like it. Luckily, he's long gone. Yush. I run into the hallway to see if I can use the bathroom. I suddenly feel like I have to shit. Oh God. Oh God, I have to shit. I got to shit. Oh man. Oh God. Oh man. Oh God. Oh man. No. God. Oh man. Oh God. Uh, this is no good. I'm going to shit myself right in this hallway. In the co ed hallway, no less. Super cool white girls are laughing at my inability to control my bowels. Oh no! I can't let them see me like that. I try to clutch my butt cheeks as I cover my crotch area so others can see my pee stains. Ew. What is wrong with me? Am I losing it? I'm certainly losing any knowledge of potty training I may have once received. I guess that's why they call it puberty, huh? I can't control it! I'm gonna lose myself! I just fucking shat my pants in the hallway. <laughs> I fucking shot my pants in the hallway. What could have done this? It must have been the captain. You see? You see, everybody? Now, lesson learned. You don't fuck with the captain, or else you will shit your pants. Damn you, Captain Crunch. Damn you to hell. And all these showers are occupied. Class starts in five minutes. I'm going to be late for school. And if I'm late for school, that, e that means I'm late to see Moku-chan. Oh no! This is such an unusual predicament that I'm sure no one in my position has ever felt before. I doubt that, but let's continue. Why someone will be late to school for any reason other than shitting themselves is a profound mystery indeed. I'm going to change my clothes, but I'm still going to smell like shit and piss all day. And so I did. At lunch, Moku-chan does not want to sit next to me because of the smell. I sit alone, like a loser. It's a conspiracy. Sensei Sensei tells me to leave class and take a shower when I got back because he finally knows the smell. And what was he doing before? Not noticing it? Imokun explains to me that Captain Crunch is a controlled substance in some countries. So if you eat Captain Crunch, you shit yourself. Let's learn. He asks if I ever learned about it in health class. I tell him I didn't. He calls me a dweeb. Well, fuck you, Imakun. He says he only gave me 10 ounces, which shouldn't have been enough to cause me to overdose. But apparently, I can't hold my sweetened corn and no breakfast cereals. I guess I'm going to have to develop a tolerance if I'm going to survive in today's competitive workforce. Yes, yes, we should. We should do so, Imakun. I mean, Player Kun. Both player Kun and Emo Kun. I go to class the next day. I no longer smell like piss and shit, which is preferable to my prior oral factory status. Lunch purveyors are out of every possible food, and we see Moku chan. Sushi, rice, kimchi, hamburgers, sandwiches, curried bread. They got jack shit! Except for one thing. Cereal. 
Oh, you mean like milk and cereal, 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 milk and cereal, cereal and milk? I am face to face once again with my old nemesis. And we just not going to talk to Mukuchan. She just sits there and just looks at you struggling against cereal. Okay. Fine. You know, now that I remember, it's because I wanted to take a shit on my desk before. So now the captain is punishing me by making me take a shit and having me smell like piss and then making cereal my natural enemy. <sighs> Fuck you, captain. Fuck you to hell. In class, I pray back and hold in my projectile shits till I get back to my door. You know that feeling when you take a shit and it's just so satisfying? And that's how I feel right now. And you know what? I have a feeling that this is going to be a pretty boring sequence, so you might just want to click through it. But don't click too fast or you'll be a big bully and miss important plot events. Um, he gave me the okay to skip it, but we're not skipping it. I go to class. I go to eat lunch. Not Captain Crunch this time. I say hi to Mokuchan. She stares at me. She calls me a nerd. She keeps cheesing me with her pantsuit. More class. I run out when Emo Kun is in there. After all, he has the culture of two sexy anime babes on his wall, I might as well do so. I'm sleeping right now, so now I'm going to sleep. Well, good night, Clary Coon. Ah, this is getting repetitive. Yes, it quite is. I told Mukushan about what happens to me when I eat Captain Crunch. Her face tells me everything. She makes me eat some on a dare. All because she's an evil little bitch with a nice monochrome ass. And apparently small breasts that don't jiggle within her sailor uniform. I do it because she probably thinks I'm a pussy ass bitch. And also because I still yearn for her pantsu. So you'll do anything to eat the to see the pantsu. Okay. My tummy hurts, but I don't uncontrollably shit. This is a good sign. What the hell am I even learning in this class anymore? I don't know! What are you learning in general? Apparently not much because I never seem to have homework. I watched the newest episode of Naruto Shippuden instead. Now hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. If you're watching Naruto, I need you to answer, I need you to answer one question. Is it canon or filler? Because... They seem to very much make them so equal. Please tell me it's not a filler. I momentarily question what I'm doing with my life. I do too! You know, what the hell am I doing with my life? Playing games? Recording it? What am I doing? For a moment, I feel like I might be a homophobic, misogynic, misogynistic creep, but I shrug off the thought. My words do not come out. My pronunciations suck. I realized I don't care about anything and struggle into my Sakura body pillow. <laughs> okay. Why Sakura? You could have got anybody else. Nami. Orihime. Not anyone, but Sakura? Hey man, do you? Do you know? Go ahead with Sakura. If I wasn't stupid before taking learning or mental defectives, I think I am now. All I do is 
all day is every day is listening to Sensei Sensei rant and then I color in my coloring book. Sensei Sensei is very impressed by, by, my, by my ability to stay within the lines. I never really thought of myself as an artist, but now I'm kind of a boss at it. Yes, I am. I'm a boss at drawing. You know, art. I feel like I'm really bonded with Mokuchan. I am too. I'm glad we are bonded with Mokuchan. I assume so. Oh, Mokuchan, your pansu will be mine. And when I finally obtain the pansu of my dreams, I will smell them. I will eat them. I will regurgitate them. I will wash them and make sure that the smell of Mokuchan does not go away. And I will put them up and prize them as a, and frame them as a prized possession. Because her precious pansu will always be mine. And your brother is none the wiser of my master plan. And neither is love. So This is what I get for recording at 4 in the morning. I try to refrain from crackling like a silly bitch. Since I don't have any homework, or any schoolwork for any kind of that matter, I figure I will devise a plan to acquire Mokuchan's pantsuit. Oh yes, finally! We're finally getting into the pantsuit. We need a plan, everyone. A plan to steal the young girl's pantsuit. I try to think of a diabolical scheme, but I can't really. It's hard for me to work on an empty stomach. Then we should eat. You would think that being in direct contact with Mogu-chan would make it easier for me to devise a scheme to map her pantsu. But it's not only does it make it hard to concentrate, it makes me want to aim higher. Not just her pantsu, not just a single pantsu. What just acquired her pantsu? When I can acquire her vagina. Does that sound creepy? Am I a creepy guy? I don't know. You tell me, good sir. You want her pantsuit. That's creepy enough. Now you want to fuck her. That's even weirder. Now, it would be fine if you guys were adults, but you're not. You are high school students. You are a third year. She is a first year. She is your kohai. You are a senpai. And unless this is a hentai, which I'm pretty sure it is, is because it was rated over 18, then yeah, then no. What was I saying again? Oh yeah, because unless this was a hentai, then yes, it will be very, very creepy. Hmm. Nah. You mean yes, don't you? Yes, you're a creepy guy. I have decided to name the project the Mukiyobi Naughty Pantsu Acquisition Program. I think it has a nice ring to it. And I worry about your future, good sir. With my goal in sight, I can't help but revel in its smell. Mmm, the smell of Moku-chan. Oh, so delightful. Oh, Moku-chan, I want your smell. It smells like a strawberry scratch and sniff snicker. So Moku-chan has strawberry smelling panties. <sighs> well, it seems like my plan is coming along just swimmingly. Yes. Yes, it is. I've already come up with a name for this plot. And that's the hardest part. Right? No. Coming up with a name is the easy part. The hardest part is actually doing it. Coming up with names is really hard. No. Not really. Depending on the type of naming, but still. You know when you're writing a story and you're trying to come up with the character's name and you're like, FUCK! I didn't think this would be that hard! Incidentally, I am thinking of a story. This is something I did in college. And 
I still have the story in mind. I'm still thinking the characters and the storylines and all that. The names themselves were a tad difficult, but as long as you're not trying to have them all have a meaning or something, then coming up with names sometimes isn't that hard. But it is. It's very hard. It's as hard as my dick when I think about Moku-chan's pantsu. Sir, I think you and me need to have a talk. Now, I understand that you want Moku-chan's pantsu, and I'm pretty sure they are nice pantsu. I wouldn't know, I haven't seen them. But the thing is about Moku-chan is that, once again, need I remind you, she is a first year. You, sir, however, are a third year. And unless she's a Yandere and this is Yandere Simulator, then no. You do not get to fuck the first year. And unless this is a hentai, or even a doujin for that matter, then no, you cannot fornicate with her like that. Do I make myself clear, good sir? Didn't I say earlier that a third year like myself shouldn't be thinking dirty thoughts about a first year like Moku-chan? Why yes! Yes, you should not! Please don't do so! Fuck that noise. Well, fuck you too. She's the only human being that acknowledges my existence, and for all I know, her vagina smells like strawberries. Okay, we're done. Yep, he's gone. He's dead. Everybody, get out your, get out your call of call child services or something. We got a pedophile. Delusion never hurt anybody, unless they do. They give me examples when delusions ever hurt somebody, but this is important. I'm not a popular kid like Largo Senpai. I'm not even sure if Largo Senpai is actually a kid. All I do know is that he is European and he has an uncircumcised dick. It's been a few weeks now and the Mokuyubi Naughty Pantsu Equation Program is going just as planned. I have not really thought of anything besides the name, but I still think that's the most important part anyway. And that's all you thought about, then yeah, you're not getting anywhere. It makes it sound... official! I'm hoping some inspiration will hit me and direct me to my next course of action. It's hard being this smart, but <laughs> someone's gotta do it. Yeah, let someone who, you know, is better. Listen up, maggots! It's that time of year again! That's right, you cum guzzling sacks of worthless cum! It's exactly what you thought it would be! Your worst fucking nightmare! Um, Sensei Sensei, are you having a. Are you having up your post traumatic stress syndrome flashbacks again? You're not in the killing fields anymore right now. You're at school. Of course I know, you insufferable crease of crap! This is the time where everything matters! It's the time of examinations. What could we possibly be tested on? We didn't do a damn thing in this class besides coloring and coloring books, building sculptures out of macaroni, and post YouTube comments. All of which require no thought and the mental equivalent of playing operation without the batteries in the game board. Sensei Sensei, what are we being tested on? You need to prove to the rest of the world that you have made progress and are all your ways to living on your own without the need of an aid. What? I don't need an aid. I'm perfectly fine. Then why have you been eating paste for the past three minutes? Holy shit, he's right. What have I become? Oh, well that's easy. You became a pervert. A pervert for a first year pussy. There, I said it. I can't control my power movements. I eat paste. Next thing you know, I'll be looking at the tile floor. 
Okay, so we're just going to ignore the fact that you're going after Imokun's little sister's pussy. I don't want to say that word, and I don't think I should say that word, but you know what? We're saying that word, because that's exactly how I feel about it. That this game has no holes bar, and we're going straight balls deep. Fuck the metaphors. Stop licking the tile! Oh my god, holy shit, I'm such an asshole! So listen up, you floor lickers. You're going to be testing on your ability to function like a normal human being in society. Oh god, this is copyrighted music. You will be testing on writing your name, tying your shoes, and knowing how to appropriate appropriate funds to an offshore account in Barbados in the event you will based on marriage from a hedge fund brokerage firm. Sensei Sensei, I feel like one of those things doesn't really belong in that list. It doesn't matter what you think, we all agree you're a cock slap. You slap cocks. Yeah, I, I still think that guy's a cock slap. So you cunt suckers need to study for this test in pass. Otherwise, I'm not going to be rehired next semester. None of us want that, because if I'm fired, you're the ones who will pay. I know where you all live. I know where your families live. I will destroy you and everyone you love. There will be absolutely no trace of you left on this earth, and not a soul will live to mourn you. Well, it seems like you, that for the King, for Kings of Mind, Moku, you'll be naughty punch to a question program. I still can't believe we're going with that. I'm going to have to try to pass this test. You can try to slow me down, Sensei. But this is just a speed bump in the road to consensual day probing Moku Chan's monochrome snatch pipe. What fancy word to say you want to fuck her? I give you an A for effort. I can see the plans and that you wasted some space for action packs, even though it seems highly unlikely due to your performance records. I'm going to assign each of you a study buddy. It will be the job of each study buddy to make sure that their partner passes, otherwise I will kill their family. Well then, Sensei Sensei, thank you for the prep talk. Now, Ambassador, you will be exempt for this pro exam because I am well aware that this will not be a problem for you. Ambassador? I think he's talking about Largo Senpai. This guy is so weird, but all the ladies love him for some reason. That's because women love the strong, sad type. The rest of you, which is only two of you, which is Player Coon and Emo Coon. You must buddy up and make sure you're both passed. Ugh, fucking lame. Hey, I thought we were friends, man. You know, we're only friends because I just want to probe your little sister's, uh, great gates. Yeah, we are. But now you're going to have to come back to my house and meet my sister. Sister? Moku-chan? We might even have a sleepover. A sleepover? God, I hope my sister doesn't have to do that thing she always does. Could it be? Patsu? I knew my plan will all come together in the end! I am a genius! This is not exactly how I pictured it. I imagine this to be my perfect chance to acquire Moku Chan's Pansu. As per the Naughty Moku Mubi Naughty Pansu Acquisition Program. Instead, I've been studying etymology with Imoku and Moku Chan goes on a right page throughout the house wearing barely anything at all. 
and I think we're going to end it here because this is just weird. So thank you all so much for watching, and uh, I said this was going to be an interesting game. I was not disappointed. And until next video, see you next time. Moku-chan, for the love of God, put on a goddamn shirt!